I have never before shared a video like this on YouTube. I'm so excited for you to see it. First, it's gonna feature not one, but two free magic tutorials. First, I'm gonna do something with a box of matches, and it's gonna really, really fool a whole ton of you. It's not hard to do, but it looks super magical. Then, I'm gonna share the secrets to a coin trick, probably one of the strangest, most outrageous, most <laughs> unforgettable coin tricks I've ever created, okay? I'm gonna perform both and reveal the secrets on this video. Also on this video, I have cracked open my own personal archive, and I'm gonna share for the very first time a whole bunch of videos nobody has ever seen before. We're talking stand-up comedy clips. We're talking uh, clips that were taped in a, li in front of a, a live audience in various places, uh, in small theaters, in clubs, all these different kinds of things. Uh, I'm also gonna include some comedy clips, some very strange and bizarre comedy clips I've never shared before. So this is a real mixed bag. You're also gonna have a chance uh, to win uh, a brand new, it's a new contest, so a brand new gimmick. In this case, it's called Unharmed. Very cool gimmick you can use with people's credit cards. And I'm gonna announce the winners of last week's contest as well. So for me, this is a really cool project. Sit down, relax, maybe order a pizza. I think you're gonna really enjoy it. I'll go through the cards, you say stop anytime. Stop. Beautiful. You know what, you stop that? Any idea? Let's take a look. It is the Queen of Spades. Queen of Spades. I'm gonna have you hold on to the Queen of Spades between your thumb and finger, just like, perfect. Great, nice and tight. But not too tight. Not, don't go crazy tight, okay? Not too tight on the Queen. In fact, look, someone the other day, I think I still have it here. Yeah, look, look at this. So tight, now that's crazy tight. Someone held on to the ace so tight, I had to yank it and they actually tore a little piece of the card. Let's uh, do magic, a little less forceful this time. Keep an eye on the ace. Just a shake. And look, the ace has changed into your queen, missing piece and all. Take a look. I don't trust the police. When they tell us that certain people are killed in car accidents because they fell asleep at the wheel? How do they know this? I can understand if they find the driver dead in his car wearing pajamas. <laughs> or if inside the car somewhere they find an alarm clock that has yet to go off. <laughs> or if they find an unusual amount of drool on the steering wheel. It is the tough gigs that separate the amateurs from the professionals. Anybody can walk into a, you know, a house party. Uh, people have been drinking a little bit, not a lot, and your double lifts are all hitting the mark, and everyone being amazed, ooh and ah, and why aren't you on TV, and honey, come over and watch this amazing magician. But it's the tough gigs. I had one this afternoon, a corporate gig at around four. I knew it was gonna be hard. Uh, the money was crazy, that's why I took it. But the, nobody was interested in the magic. Nobody was interested in, in having fun. It was work. And it was only because I'm so seasoned as a performer that I didn't break out into flop sweats. Years ago, I would have bombed terribly. But I have enough experience now to keep my cool, except for what it was. And it, I got out. Nobody got hurt. It was fine. Client was happy with the gig. 
but man, it's a lot of tough work today. Uh, so I'm just uh, heading off to the gym now. I shake this baby off. I should have told you off the top though, no autographs, okay? The way he built me up, no autographs. So please, later on, don't come up to me and try to give me your autographs, okay? The thing I don't like about that, no, I don't, I don't nobody ever wants the magician's autograph. But I don't mean to start a fr you know, frenzy tonight, but I actually have in my magic case here, I do in fact have, yes, I have one official, and only one tonight, guys, one official Jay Sankey autograph right there. It's an official on eBay. That's worth about three cents, maybe four cents. It's not worth a lot. But I tell you what, I'm going to give somebody the autograph, but only if someone gives me their autograph. Okay. Uh, what's your name, my friend, please? Chris. 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 Okay. Now, Chris, I've got down here a rather large magic marker. People wonder. It's just a marker. I want you to take that for me. Take the cap off for me. And I want you to put your initials on the inside of your eyelid. Okay? <laughs> do it! Do it! <laughs> and then the magician went nuts. I've got a piece of paper here. I've got a piece of paper here for Chris. Okay? I'm going to give that to Chris. Take that and put your autograph on that, please. Because I think if I'm going to give my autograph and he's going to give me his, we should do it with a little something at least looks, smells, and sounds like, holy cow, he's writing a novel. What is going on? <laughs> okay, holy cow, you got one of these fancy autographs? Oh, let's see. Okay, that's pretty fancy. Look at that. This is when the stroke kicked in. Right there, you can see that. <laughs> now, they say you can tell a lot by people's autographs, and I can see by that. Do you drink coffee? I do. Okay. Do you speak English? <laughs> um, and I get a sense you're also a bit of a psychopath, is that right? Just a little bit of a psychopath. I get that. Okay, well, look, look. Let's do this. My autograph here, okay? I'm going to take my autograph and I'm going to tuck it down to make this kind of challenging. Inside my, I guess my little coin pouch, we'll leave that right there. I'm going to take the marker back from Chris. Thank you, my brother. Now watch, watch very carefully here. I said they're going to change my magic, and I'm going to try to, actually, I'm going to push that a little further away to make it hard, actually, a little further away, even like that. We'll see if we can do this. this I call this the 10-second magic trick, because it really only takes 10 seconds, hopefully. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Somebody's heart just stopped. <laughs> so there's my autograph. But wait a second. No, 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 no. Because now if that's my autograph there, it only makes sense down in here. I'm hoping inside here, watch it be fair as I can be here, you'll see that, of course, if that's mine, now there is his. Thank you. One of the many ways I try to show my fans how much I appreciate them is by giving away free magic merch. So this week, I'm going to be giving away a gimmick called Unharmed. It's a very cool gimmick. You can use it with any credit card. You just borrow the card. You can jab a nail through it, a chopstick, a whole bunch of things, and then immediately you can restore their credit card and give it right back to them. It's extremely cool. To check out the full preview, check it out at sankeymagic.com. But for your chance to win, all you have to do is leave a comment down below this video, okay? And answer this question. The question is, which of these videos, you've seen the video clips, the magic moments, the comedy, whatever, which one is your favorite? Okay, so obviously you're gonna have to watch the whole video, but then leave a comment down below. Let me know which one's your favorite, and then we'll do a random draw, and uh, we'll find out who are the 12 winners of the unharmed gimmick. Thank you so much. or not doesn't matter you borrow a quarter and you go watch watch carefully but don't use your eyes use your ears see your ear and they now see in your ear you've got they can see there's a quarter in your ear you go well, hold on I'll, I'll do that one again watch zippy loo whoo like that no use your ear it's your ear and they see it's in the ear again and of course you can do this until uh, hopefully the hostess shows up and pays you a check now this is the way it works um, you've got uh, the quarter here a quarter. Now, I've been wedging things in my ears forever, and this is something I've been playing with for a long time. What you do is you, 
If you wedge it in the ear there, you'll find if you've got a, what I call an anatomically ideal ear, the little ear, we'll call it just a little nibbly, or the nipple, the ear's nipple, will kind of flap over that, just there. Now this is one of these ones you want to prepare just before you're walking over to a group. You don't want to spend all night, people look over, they go, oh, how sad. Something must have happened in Nam for that young man. He's got a bit of a luminine in his ear. You wedge that in there like that. Uh, you borrow a cord. Now it can be marked, and if it's marked, it's actually not just you're thinking it's sort of a cute throwaway. No, it's actually a pretty baffling trick if it's marked, okay? Uh, you vanish it in any way that looks convincing to you. Try not to do too much hand washing afterwards. Believe me, they understand it's a sublimation, a much more intimate act. So, you do the vanish. In this case, I'm sort of just doing a thumb palm thing where you're tossing the hand there, keeping thumb palm, wave the hand and the suggestive boom, like that, so vanish. Then draw attention to the ear. Which is nice, because it takes focus completely off the hands. They see, oh my god, he's got a frickin' coin in his ear. What a freak. This is the last bar mitzvah this cat works. Um, they see there, you reach up with the hand that has it up, fiddle for a second, and then turn the head. You don't want to kind of pull, and then it's all of a sudden a coin split near your ear. You don't want that. You come up, you fiddle here, take it out, turn the head naturally like this. You don't want to go, huh! Like that, just sort of up like this, and you can repeat it again. You can go boom like that, and then show it like this. And if you want, you could cleanly take it out at this point and either give it to them. They, of course, don't want to touch it, or you can do a shuttle for the mark coin like that. Thank you. Oh, hey, are you that TV magic guy? That uh, Cra Craig Angela? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Can, yeah, can, yeah. can you like uh, make this coin disappear? Sure. Oh yeah, I'm gonna freak your mind. Okay, I'm gonna freak your mind. But I gotta like. I gotta warm up a bit, okay? I gotta, so I need you to like, to, just like, like, like turn around for a little bit. Just, just turn the f around, okay? corporate culture now for the last five or ten years they've really been starting to celebrate failure there's this idea of celebrating failure because you know, so often because failure means you try and more you know certainly many of the world's most successful people are people who fail the most okay so if you really want to start getting closer to success start racking up those fails Rack up. it's a crazy thought but it works miles davis brilliant jazz musician he said there are no wrong notes now, if you watch me play, there are plenty of long notes, it turns out, lots. <laughs> Up through 26 cards, I'm going to try to make the sign card. You only sign one card, right? Yes. Up through half the cards, I'm going to make the card jump up. Now look, Sean, I know. Look. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it again. Watch, 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 watch. I'm going to bury it. Halfway down, no funny moves, really slow. Watch again, it comes up. Oh my god. <laughs> do that one more time. Yeah, yeah, I I that that right. Right. Okay, you help me out. You're right-handed, okay. right? I'm left-handed, I'm left-handed. Oh, left. Lift off half the pack. Half the pack. Oh, now watch. No funny hands. Watch, watch. It's not on top yet, okay? It's not on top yet. You sign the card. You're going to push your card in the middle of the deck. Going to make the card jump up through the air and land right up on top of his card. Take a look on top of your cards. Oh, God. What? No. Right up oh, on top. Take a look. No. Take a look. Oh, yeah. of course, come oh. <laughs> the time has come for me to announce the winners of the last contest. The last video I did, I gave everyone a chance to win one of my grand opening card magic gimmicks. Grand opening. Here are the 12 winners. I hope I say your name right now. We've got Brian Riel, Daniel Gonkin, Alistair Bacon Low, Baker Low, not Bacon Low, Sizzle, no. Uh, Jeff Koning, Kon Koning, like crowning only, I'm hoping different. Uh, Jesse Garcia, Ashley Meka, Marty Jacobs, Bacon Bros, like the Bacon Bros, like brothers, like begging, almost like be begging brothers. They're in competition on the street there. Mike Stock, Beards and Bushcraft, Bushcraft. Minecraft, but only with bushes. No water, no animals, just a lot of bush work, so to speak. Dave Bozarth, and finally Torin Slyther. Real magician, S-L-Y-T-H, Slyther. Obviously a, a member of the uh, 
Slytherin house, clearly. If you, I just said your name, congratulations. Please contact my team. Just have to email them at contact at sankeymagic.com. So simple. Make sure you give them a real name and your YouTube name if it's different, okay? Your shipping address and they will promptly ship out to you the grand opening gimmick. Congratulations again. Now what's beautiful about coin magic like this is you can just even borrow the three coins and you can say, look, I'm gonna take one of the coins and if I tap the second coin, just from the back of the hand, you'll see the first coin vanishes. Now I don't want you thinking that was a fluke, so I'm gonna do it again with this coin. Watch, I just tap it here and again, it vanishes. This last coin, just give it a squeeze and it vanishes too. But of course I reach out to the air, I can produce a coin. If I take the coin, tap on the back of my hand, I get a second coin, kind of cool. And if I want that third coin, again, I just have to tap it on the back of my hand and like an ATM, the third coin comes back. Here's a cool card trick you can show your friends. The secret to the trick is you have to have a little bit of spit, a little bit of spit on the face of the bottom card. Now, you spit out the cards, you have them take any card, they look at the card, they put it on top of the deck and you cut the cards, now look, when you cut the cards, their card, right on top there, and the spit card, they come together, right together. In fact, because of the glucose or the sugar content of your spit, the two cards are actually stuck together. Magicians call it a spit double. Now what you can do is just by touch alone, if you try to cut the cards about in the middle, because of the two cards stuck together, you'll always cut to the selected card. Now if you're not sure if your spit has maybe enough sugar in it, what I find, is if I take a little bit of icing sugar, okay? Maybe, not too much, that should be about enough. A Little bit of icing sugar on the face of the bottom card. Now, when I spread out the cards, have any card taken, like before, they look at the card. When you cut the cards now, you are guaranteed that those two cards are gonna stay together, they're stuck, all right? You can even shuffle the deck of cards now, all right? But at any time, when you want, you just cut the cards and you're always gonna to cut the selected card. It's easy when you know the secret. Box of matches, you can tell because it's a box of matches. Um, you have someone open up and remove a few matches, let's say three matches. You say, watch carefully, keep your eye on the matches. I'm gonna make them vanish and appear inside my pocket. Here we go, one, two, three. Yeah! I know, I know, a little suspicious, a little fast. So look, we'll do it slowly. One at a time, here we go. Match number one in the hand. Match, uh, match number two in the hand. Watch the last match, match number three. I'm gonna try, try to make all three matches, like I said, vanish from my hand. <laughs> to my pocket. Match number one. Match number two. And match. Numero trois. Dingy, 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 boo. You would not believe how much time I spent developing my match vanish. Um, it's perfect for matches, both wooden and paper, um, or anything short and small, like, say, um, a beetle's limb. <coughs> the beetle! Okay, and I don't mean that wacky band. Okay, the match vanish, look. Make a fist, put the match inside, match is gone. Doesn't get a whole lot more natural or clean than that, all right? Let me show you the work on the match vanish. You're here, make a fist. You're gonna look like you insert, but actually you're gonna hit this part of your thumb. Not this part, okay? Not this part, get, it's just sort of inside the mouth of the tunnel of your flesh, here. And while you apparently insert, what you're gonna do is actually just move the finger in so the match ends up here, okay? The thumb helps a little bit because the thumb is there anyway, okay? Totally natural action. Finger moves in till you feel the end of the match contact there and then you break. 
and that's where you end up with your match, okay? So you got the three matches. Um, you toss them in your hand, make a joke of it, they go into your fist or your pocket, and now you just do the match vanish uh, three times, right? Take out match number one, so you're gonna be really slow. Take out match number one, do the match vanish, boom, go to your pocket. Now notice each time I do the match vanish, I come up and I don't just push it in, boom, like that, and drop the hand. I do this with my fist. I do that with my fist, all right? So to pull focus and to really sell the idea that the match went inside. So you do that three times, once, twice, three times, come out, boom, like this, then you do your vanish. Hand drops naturally to your side. I like that. Like that. Go in, <clears throat> reproduce the matches so it looks the same as before. There's number one, there's number two, and there's number three. You would be hard pressed, <clears throat> excuse me, you would be hard pressed to come up with a more convincing, visually simple, well paced vanish of three ordinary objects and then they appear in your pocket. I mean, it's just pure magic. Do not underestimate the effectiveness of this. Don't make the mistake of reducing the people you're sharing your magic with, reduce them to mere spectators. You work so hard in your magic, you work hard in the scripting, you, you know, you get all that energy, you try to deal with your nerves, you get your tricks together, all your stuff. I just came uh, right from uh, a really cool uh, walk around cocktail party gig. And uh, I really challenged myself to open, to have the pauses longer to put more time between phases, to really look at people, uh, to, to really give them an opportunity to jump in and react and say things. And sometimes it took the magic in funny places, but boy, it was a lot more interesting because I was really trying not to reduce them to mere spectators. Can I borrow a, a wedding ring? No jewels on it, nothing. Just a simple wedding band from a gentleman, ideally, please. Oh, my friend. Thank you very much. Oh my God, this is heavy. Yeah, it's my channel. It's your, what, chain and ball? <laughs> oh, your writers are dead, you know that. <laughs> Boy, that's a very heavy, uh, look, I'm, uh, how, about, how about if you give me that and I give you uh, <laughs> metal for metal? <laughs> would you be willing, you could, would that sound like a good deal? No. Correct. <laughs> that wasn't a correct trick question. Wasn't, that is the right, that's right, if you had said yes, I would have asked you to leave and go running in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> Um, is that an order? Take a good close look at that spoon because a guy walks on and takes a spoon out of his pocket. It could be a Himber spoon or some sort of tricky spoon there. It's an ordinary looking spoon? Okay, great. Okay, here we go. Now, don't get the wrong idea. I know. Uri Geller, all this kind of stuff. Uh, people think, oh, they see a guy with a spoon. Chances are he's gonna, with his mind, he's going to try to bend it. I can't do that kind of stuff. I, I'm going to actually try. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to actually try to. Uh, Oh baby, abs of steel. I'm gonna try to put uh, these two objects together, gold and silver. And I could cheat. I could put the ring on top, but like I said, that's cheating. So instead, I'm gonna take the spoon and uh, put it down. You can see, you can see. If you'd stand up for me, please. You can see the ring is solid. The spoon is solid. Hold it your hand for me like that. I'm gonna try to, right over here. I'm gonna try, pull on the end. You can keep that little souvenir. Thank you. I know, a spoon. Wow. <laughs> completes your set. <laughs> I've been doing magic uh, for like over 30 years and the first person who ever showed me a magic trick was actually my grandfather. In fact, he gave me what I call my lucky coin, this, this, this US half dollar. And he always told me that the coin was a magic coin. And it took me a long time to figure out exactly what he meant. Words blow my mind. I 
mean, I got a hole in the head right here, right here. I make these sounds that come out and the sounds I make can influence how you feel, how you feel across the room or across the world. It amazes me words. So the next time, you know, you're talking with somebody, hopefully what you're trying to do is connect with them in some capacity. But keep in mind that words can be a great way to connect, but words can also be a paradoxical and ironic way to protect yourself from other people, to distance yourself from other people. I often think of it as the difference between arrows in a quiver versus sort of bricks in a wall. If I use the right words and I leave room for them to breathe and to respond, they're like arrows in a quiver. There's, there's room to breathe. But if I use my presentation and my words like, you know, bricks in a wall, they're only going to serve to separate me from other people. The Linking Rings is an absolute classic of magic. And in just a moment, right here in the video, I'm gonna share with you 100% original routine of the Linking Rings, unlike any performance you've ever seen before. But first, I wanna draw your attention to this little link up here. And I suggest you give it a click. This link will take you to sankeymagic.com and right there you can sign up to my free weekly magic newsletter. It goes out once a week, every week it goes out, and there are performance tips. Uh, there are special offers on products. Uh, there's real world stories about magic. There's a whole bunch of things in the newsletter. All you have to do is click this link. Like I said, it'll take you to Sankey Magic, the homepage. Go to the bottom of the page and you can enter your email address right there and then. Okay, so definitely sign up to my free magic newsletter. Just a little magic. Back together. As my daddy used to say, in you go. Apart from performing magic, I also teach magic. I created it on YouTube. I've been lucky enough to teach, as Leanne mentioned. David Copperfield, Chris Angel, all these guys, and I get to teach them. And it's a real honor to be able to share. And I'm going to actually teach you guys a trick now. A simple trick, simple card trick, you show friends or kids or whatever. Okay, it's a simple, simple thing. Here. Um, let's, let's do this. I'm going to put the rubber band around the deck. I'm going to toss it over this lady here. Sitting like this. Just trying to stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's your name, man, please? Cash Tin. Cash Tin, okay. <laughs> Ashton doesn't sound like materialist at all. <laughs> okay, uh, take the rubber band off the deck, please. Take the rubber band off. And now look at the cards. Make sure they're ordinary cards. Because, I mean, the amateurs have all these tricky wire. You know, they're, they're ordinary deck, right? I'm going to teach you a trick. I want you to take out any card you want. It's not like a big card. Any card, doesn't it? Okay. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm down in my pocket here. 
I have a rather large magic marker. People wonder, it's just a marker. I'm going to count myself. It's not there. Thanks. And she said, I'll come and get it, okay? Would you do me a favor? I'm not going to have you write your name on the card, okay? Because I could have maybe got your name cashed in and memorized or something. So I want you to write, I want you to think of a word, any word, write now. One word, English language, one word. Okay, write that word as best you can. I'm careful, don't get the marker on your hand. Oh, actually, on the face, sorry. On your card, whatever way you want, write it right on the face there, okay? So she's examined the deck, she grabbed the card, she put her name on it. This is, like I said, it's a simple trick. I don't know if it's going to fool anybody, but at least she can show family and friends that kind of thing. She hasn't been a damn thing yet, right? <laughs> and now she's started, okay. Oh, oh, she's being mean. She wrote the word ham. Mm. The audience gets back. Nice. Not a vegan. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's it's a simple card, look. Take the card. Put it on top. Cut the back a couple of times. Right there, right there. Uh, ma'am, do you know where her card is? It's actually in my pocket. <laughs> Well, there you have it. I hope you agree. That video was unlike anything you've ever seen me upload. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please, if you enjoyed it, I've got more crazy videos on the way. Uh, definitely click the like button and please subscribe to this channel. And do not forget to leave a comment down below and tell me which of all the little videos was your favorite. I want you to have a chance uh, to win my unharmed gimmick. And finally, click the button. Don't forget to click that button and sign up uh, for my free weekly magic newsletter. It'll take you to sankeymagic.com at the very bottom of the landing page right there. You can sign up for the free newsletter. Thank you so, so much for watching.